I, I, I found out I was allergic to popcorn, especially when it was popped. And, um, and like specifically, no, the chemical composition of corn changes for all you people out there. And um, I'm specifically allergic to that, but I was so, I, I stopped, I, I didn't pay attention to it for a while. My boyfriend at the time would go out and I would eat some popcorn and I would get a stomach ache. Oh. And um, so I would always tell him, please don't let me eat popcorn the next time I go out. So the next time I would go out, there would be popcorn. I'm like, oh, that smells so good. And he's like, yeah, don't eat it. And I'm like, shut up. <laughs> popcorn. And then eventually I went out to the movies with a friend of mine. There was a bucket like this big and I hadn't eaten dinner and I ate half of the entire bucket, like one of those huge oh, things around and I was so violently ill that I actually blocked out the scent of popcorn. Really? And, and uh, I would always go out and smell popcorn, and I would ask people what it was because it smelled so good, and then find out that it was popcorn and uh, curse them. Well, uh, wow. Uh, this is the and best panel. There you go. <laughs> it's the, oh my gosh, she's allergic to popcorn panel. <laughs> so, um, hi everybody. I guess we'll start over, and it's been a slow day over here. I'm Lisa Ortiz. Um, I'm sure you know I play Amy Rose in Sonic for the television series and, and, video, games and the video games around the time, and it's, which is great. And um, I've done I've been doing anime for quite a while, so I've done a bunch of other shows besides that. I did um, I did work as uh, Lena and Burst Slayers is one that a lot of people know, and I've worked on Yu-Gi-Oh, the original, and some Pokemon and stuff like that. And, and, uh, we've all worked pretty much on a lot of the same shows, so uh, it's just been pretty good. Um, does anybody have any questions or any anything to start off? Or? What else are you allergic to? <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'm allergic to oranges. Um, I know it's a horrible thing in the morning when you um, when you want orange juice because you can't have it. I'm gonna go weep for a little while. <laughs> okay, so uh, questions, questions. Yes. I had a question. When you um. When you auditioned on Slayers, did you want to be Lena? Was that your first choice? I had no idea what Slayers was about. <laughs> I walked in there, Slayers was the second job at the time. Um, I had just, I, I didn't know that I had gotten that, I didn't know I had gotten. The first job that I had was a show called Lotus Wars and it was Dee Lit. Oh, okay. yeah. It was the first audition I ever went on out of school and it was the first the first kind of thing that I walked in for. And. Um, uh, I, if you saw in the program, I have, I got into voice acting because my brother stole my car. I was still in college at the time, and he had taken my car and drove off, and um, and uh, my car battery was dying. I was home for the semester. I actually had a, I had mono when I was home, and uh, he took my car, and he's like, and I'm like, did you take my car because the battery's gonna die? Uh, it's it's dying. He's like, yeah, well that's why it's parked over at George's house. I couldn't get it to start. I'm like, okay, great. So I spent three hours looking around for George and got a friend of mine, Rob, to take me over to there to look and find who the heck George was, because I had no idea who he was. And um, he turned out to be an intern at Central Park Media at the time, and they were looking for some people to uh, audition. And I wound up auditioning that. I auditioned for Lotus War, and I booked that job. And um, then they brought me in for a show called Slayers. I had no idea what it was. They were like, here's this part. He's like, go read for it. She's spunky. And Whatnot. And I was like, oh, it's really cool. I didn't hear anything. I didn't hear anything the first gig I went to the audition. I didn't hear anything for six months before I found out that I had the job. And um, then for that one, I auditioned. I was like, oh, that would be really cool. I had no idea. And I, of course, fell in love with you. Know, fell in love with you. And I think that one I found out in like a month or something like that afterwards. But if I look back in time, yes, I wanted it very much. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, any any other questions? Questions or uh, yes, what's okay. your favorite line to say as Amy? Sonic. Oh, Sonic. It's good. Yeah. There's more, but really, I, I I get a kick out of that because it can occur so many times. <laughs> variations of joy. Um, any other any questions? Questions. Yeah. Do you have a favorite role? Um, of the stuff that I've worked on, mm -hmm. um, you know, obviously I love doing I love doing Lena. Uh, she was really great fun. I love doing Amy and Sonic. She's because I like I kind of like the loud, spunky kind of you know roles like that. But I also um, I did uh, a character in um, a show called Revolutionary Girl Utena. If anybody knows that, mm -hmm. it's a it's an evil character called Shiori. Oh, okay. She's oh, yeah, really sort of yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, it's a uh, that was a lot. Mm. Of, that was a lot of fun because she was. That was the first time I got to be someone who was kind of dark and evil. Because up until that, I was basically like this funky sixteen-year-old that was going to save the world, which is great. <laughs> I love to do that, and um, and that's. Uh, and I'm going to go back to your question, Jordan. In addition to the fact of screaming out Sonic, the first the first role I ever had was me screaming out Parn a lot, which was the, the guy I was going after there. So I, I basically like to scream. That sounds really bizarre. Turn off your camera! Mute that out, that sounds wrong. <laughs> no. But um but yeah, I, I really I've loved a lot of this stuff that that uh that I've gotten to, to work on, so it's been it's been pretty cool. Um there's a um I was gonna say something. I did just wake up from naps in a long week. Um What sign are you? <laughs> Stop talking, that's my sign. Stop. Yield to traffic. I'm a Sagittarius, Archer of the Zodiac. We're known for being frank and saying things and uh, modeled after the center. <laughs> I think this is false because on Wikipedia someone could put anything on there. Is it true that you're like a physician or a doctor? Because you see, oh, this is my moment. Wait, because <laughs> I saw that I'm like, I don't think that's true. No, I just said you're a physician in New York City somewhere. I uh, no, I think I think they must have meant something else. Like she's a magician, <laughs> which, I, uh, which I'm not very good at. So you do children's I parties? Right? I, yeah, exactly. I do children's parties, and on the subway, I ask people to give me their money, and I'll make it go away. <laughs> so, uh, you actually done children's parties for real? Um, I no, I haven't. I haven't really done that that much. I did it as a big for a friend once. I did. A, I went out and dressed as a. I was, did a, like a little princess party for her, but that was because I knew her. Oh, okay. And um, apparently, you can't yell at children at their birthday parties. Oh, okay. Or throw cake at them. Or open their presents and keep them. Can <laughs> 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 you go to a party for that? No. Um, no, I've never, I actually have mm -hmm. I know a lot of people who have done them, but I have okay. I, I did that. And I, they're, they're cute and it's fun. Okay. But, um, but I've never had them. Nor have I actually done magic on the stuff. I know other, like, um, what was it? Other voice actors. Mm -hmm. Like Dan Green, Eric Stewart. I'm pretty sure they're really well known. Like when you're walking down the street or like at a Starbucks or something, do you happen to like in any case like a fan will recognize your voice? Say, hey, you're Amy, or hey, you're Serenity. Have you get any of that? Not just Starbucks in general, but I mean anywhere. Um, I've had like mostly mostly that happens at, at conventions or stuff like okay. that where people go. Oh, okay. Because in the city, no one. Well, you never know. Anything. Yeah. Oh, okay. And, uh, you know, I mean, like I mean, I, I sometimes go mm -hmm. to into Starbucks and I'll see Dan Green and I'll say really loudly like you're the voice of you know look it's Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah look it's Yuki. <laughs> I can order my drink really fast. <laughs> but um that's about it. Most people most people don't recognize most people will recognize me here because I've been um, mm -hmm. I if people know I've been I had done the concert here for a while and then I had stopped and then I kinda of came back so it's been um, hello welcome welcome <laughs> <laughs> share with the class Another question for you: Are you a are you a full time voice actor, or do you do other things like ADR and oh, producer? We, or, we do. I do do other stuff. I haven't um, I haven't done theater for a while, and I've done audio books and stuff. Currently, I also am working. I'm a producer over at a, at a studio. Huh? We work on. Um, I direct and produce also work on Pokemon and a number of other huh? um, another a bunch of other animation stuff that comes through. Do you know why they changed the Pokemon voices after 10 years? It was um, things like that. It's, it's kind of the same thing that happens with Sonic. It's a different studio. There were different contract negotiations and stuff oh. like that. But that's what wound up happening. Okay. Yeah. It, it's, I mean, sometimes it happens. And um, usually it has nothing at all to do with actors. It just has to do with either it moves to a different location or else a different, um, someone else gets the license or... Sometimes it's um, it's just that a new staff gets on it, hmm. and sometimes you're able to, sometimes you're not able to to continue with the same people. But um, but you know now after a time, there's a lot of people who worked on the original show who are coming back and doing other roles and things okay. like that. So, so that's been really cool. Okay. Um, 
It's really fun. Do you have any, any questions? Any questions you want to listen? Yes. Do you and Jason have real feelings for each other? <laughs> yes, I hate him. No, no, I hate him. <laughs> See, in, in, in our relationship, that's what it's like. He chases me with a hammer. And uh, in real life, that's the way it works out. And he you know, screams Lisa, and I'm like, no, and I hide from him. He runs fast. So y'all like trade rules yeah. in the real world? We trade, we definitely, that's, we, we've agreed upon that. <laughs> Even where's the pink? It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we've known each other for a long time, so obviously, we, uh, you can see like a, you know, a lot of us do. We don't get to meet everybody who we work with, but we definitely get along and you know meet people who we have. So it's so it's cool. And um, and yeah, he does he does chase me with the hat. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> yes. How were you able to uh, acquire the role of uh, Amy in the, in the show? Was that something we had to audition for? Or? Yeah, we did. They did auditions for it, and we went in. And um, I was actually like, Marcia Jason, I didn't think I was going to get it. I wasn't sure, and um, I was really happy when I did. They were doing a bunch of other stuff there at the time, and um, I don't even remember. I remember going in for the audition and walking out, the same feeling, and just going, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a direct quote. I wrote it in my diary. Um, and uh, yeah, but it, so so the, most of the stuff that we do is generally by audition. Sometimes um, there's a couple of people, or there's a couple of studios you've worked with, because now like I've worked with them, you know, I've worked with different places over 10 years and stuff like that. Sometimes they'll throw you into roles, like smaller parts. We usually get, um, usually, they're, they're usually handed out. Like they'll cast who they know or whatever, but for a lot of the larger parts, generally they're auditioned. So, so it was lucky. The thousand dollars I paid. I didn't really pay thousand dollars. I don't have a thousand dollars. Don't don't try to mock me. Any other questions? Yeah. When you um, was it difficult to? Um, to do the new Slayers as opposed to the Slayers, like when you did Slayers Try and Slayers. Actually, it was not. It was a lot of fun. They called me and they asked me to come to OhioCon. That's where I met you. Huh? Yes. And was that the roast for Mike's son and Nicholas? Yes. Um, I was the special guest at OhioCon because the show that I had worked on, The Irresponsible Captain Tyler, that was, uh, I played Azaline and I played these two twins in it, Emmy and Yumi. It was the first show that they had based their con around. So, uh, 10 years later, it was their 10th anniversary, they invited me back as the special guest. Mm -hmm. And um, so I was, it was a really weird experience for me because it had been almost, it had been almost eight years that I hadn't done that and a lot had changed. It also made me feel strangely old and less surprisingly young at the same time. <laughs> so, uh, which was really fun because so I so I decided to do a couple and, and come out. And I always love coming to Texas. I have family out here. My brother's out here, and um, and so is my niece. My niece Gracie. Gracie, as we call her. She's she's a little. She's got red hair. She's very cute. And she's little, um, as they are want to be when they're one. Um, <laughs> But, uh, but yes, yeah, so I, I, it's actually been really cool coming out and, you know, I kind of, for me, I'm kind of part of the old guard because I started, so, you know, I started so long ago when I kind of come out and done this and cons have changed a lot. Like, it's kind of fun to be part of this because it's sort of a growing young kind of con. This is mm -hmm. the second year, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's the second year. So this is, this is fun. I've gone to some of the mega, like the larger, like mega cons, like the last con I was at was AWA and, um. I've gone to some of those, but it's kind of nice, it's nice to be like this because this is how, when we started, everything was kind of, everything needs to kind of get up on its legs, and I like that experience, so, it's been fun, and it's also fun to see, like, this is really weird, he's not, he's not here now, but, um, one of the guys who's out there, I met his daughter ten years ago, she was six months old, she is now ten, <laughs> and she has gotten very tall, which is amazing because I look exactly the same. Mm -hmm. oh. So um, anybody who disagrees with me, you don't. I do have a hammer, also. <laughs> but um, but yeah, so it's it's been actually really nice. It's nice to see some people who are still around, a lot of you know fans, and also the fact that I'm still working and doing stuff is actually really great. What do you think is? You said you you said the cons were different now. What do you think is one of the main differences from what they used to be? Um, it used to be, they used, first of all, a lot of them all across the board used to be a lot smaller. 
it used to be more niche, as a lot, not as many people knew about them because things like, as much as people have their opinions of things, things like Pokemon came out and it, it really popularized it and also mm -hmm. brought it to other people who had not seen it before. Um, it used to be a lot of people who were very hardcore about only watching subtitling. Very, oh. very, very, very My hardcore. God. I, I'll tell you, no, I'm going to say, you guys laugh, I'll tell you story. My, when I worked on Lotus War, okay, I came and my brother, my brother watched anime. They all did, they all knew the title before I did. We came and sat down, it was a screening of it in English. And um, I'm in a room with my brother and like eight of his friends, you know, some of my friends, but they're all in there. And they just turned to me, they're like, I just want you to know, we don't like dubs, so I hope you don't suck. <laughs> But and they liked it, so I was very happy. And actually, on that show, I've since met. I met the creator, and his wife actually told me that she loves to watch it in English because she likes my voice. So, so I, I felt like that was a really that was a really cool thing. And that's another thing is like depending on where you go, you get to meet other people. You you get to hang out with other with other actors or other people who are doing the same kind of things and kind of learn what's going on. So that's fun about it. That's what's kind of fun about comics. But yeah, I would say that that's changed, and the client of people, like people who've come to anime conventions have changed. There's a lot more stuff. There's, well, there's there's that Maid Cafe, which was going on a while ago. They have that kind of stuff. But they, um, it's just been, I, I think it's it's younger. It's It's been, it's it used to be a lot more underground. I mean, it still is, but it used to be a lot of people who yeah, wouldn't watch, would not watch a dub, and maybe they were a little bit older, and they it was very specific. It was so hard to get a handle on, and now you have a lot of things that are, you know, like um, like Airbender and all these other shows and, and Naruto and everything that are on um, that are on TV and a little more accessible, and it's easier to get a hand on things. So I think it just changes the way that you know, and and I know a lot more now. Like I've learned a lot more about the culture, like the the, the Japanese culture and a lot of the other stuff. It kind of makes it more. Interesting, I can enjoy a lot of the other stuff. So. Any other questions? Yes. Um, when we hear your Amy voice. Oh, I don't know if I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, um, I just want to say good over and over again, but because he's my love, and I knew that we're going to be together someday, and it's going to be really, really exciting. <laughs> so, okay, <let's> <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes. Can you do Serenity? Um, well, I was talking to my brother Joey, and I'm really glad that I got my eyes, because now I can see what he looks like, and he's really, really sweet to me, um, except, wow, it's really weird that I have pink hair and he doesn't. <laughs> Maybe it's mom. <laughs> <laughs> right, yes. I do Elvis. <laughs> 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 I just sound a little bit more like a plus. <laughs> <laughs> any other any other questions? Did they provide you food when you got to do the eating scenes for you? If only they had, but thank goodness they didn't, or else I would currently be 7,000 pounds. <laughs> I'm just saying. No, I do have to say, one of the first, um, I, I, I was so really green, and I was just out of, uh, out of college, when I did my first interview, and they're like, what did you love doing? You know, what did you love doing the most about Slayers? And the first thing I said, I was like, oh man, I love those eating scenes. They were, and they're like, really, that's what you love? I'm like, yeah, it was so much fun, because you could kind of be all slapstick and be like, ah. And um, and she almost hung up on me. <laughs> but, uh, we became good friends later. Awesome. But yeah, no, they did not give me food, thank you. Because there was this, like eight plates of things. Of course, I ate that. They gave me that food all yesterday when we came to the con. <laughs> They're like, here, eat this much food while you're here. But uh, that's, a, that's a different story. That's why we're going to lose too many laps here. Too much information. Is it more?